I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here we are with the Trash Am2 system, and in this video I'm going to do a little experiment. So, I'm sure in the past you may remember, um, especially with Windows XP, because of course Windows XP has been out for many years. You install Windows on a computer, and out of the box, it would not have a network driver, so you would have to. Um, either if you're lucky have a network driver on a CD or have to download the driver off a different computer, throw it on a USB stick, transfer it over to the computer needing the driver and install the driver. It was actually pretty common back in the day. Um, even with some computers I put Windows 7 on, um, there'd be times where I would have to uh, manually install a networking driver. But of course in Windows 8 and Windows 10 and especially in Windows 11, Microsoft has further and further pushed the, um, the their want for you to create a cloud account, a Microsoft account, to sign into your computer. So if your computer has network access, generally it defaults to Microsoft account, and the only way to stop it is to disconnect the internet or give it some garbage login. And at that point, it would skip. But the thing is, in Windows 11 Home, and I think also Pro in the upcoming Windows 11 22H2 build, they are forcing you to sign in with an online account, which is a real bear for those who don't want the Microsoft account, or for technicians who are working on someone's computer. That's kind of the that's that's a really big one. Now there actually are some workarounds, and I think one of the reasons for this workaround is for technicians servicing a computer. So I was thinking tonight, what if you install Windows 11 Home on a PC that does not have a network adapter? None. No Wi-Fi, no Ethernet. So the Trash Am 2 system does not have Wi-Fi, of course. It does have an onboard fast Ethernet adapter, which I have gracefully going into the BIOS and disabled. You can see right there it is turned off. And we're going to go install Windows 11 Home. And let's see what happens once we get to the setup and it wants to uh, connect to the internet. Okay, everybody, so here we're sitting in the out of box experience or out of box setup. Again, this machine has no active network adapter, no Wi Fi, no Ethernet. Here we are with Windows 11 Home. Let's see what happens. We'll just go ahead and run through the setup. <laughs> Look, let's connect you to a network. You'll need an internet connection to continue setting up your device. Once connected, you'll get the latest features and security updates. And you can see there is no adapter available. What an epic fail. Look, so you're pretty much at a dead end here. There's no way to get through this, huh? No way to get through this. Alright, so I did show in a previous video how to get around this. Uh, what you need to do is uh, should you end up in this situation or let's say you simply do not want to um, connect to the internet to set up Windows 11 you can type this right here by all you gotta do is just shift F10 to bring up a command prompt and once you type this in
and you don't have to be all caps and just be lowercase. What's going to happen is when you press enter, it's going to restart and then allow you to set up without internet. So yeah guys, uh, <laughs> gotta love it. This is a, this is an epic fail right here guys. Uh, Windows 11 Home, when there's no network adapter available, you are at a dead end unless you know the workaround. And matter of fact, I believe this right here would be the only workaround available because there's no network device to connect to, so you can't just make up a login. You literally have to do this. So let's go ahead and do it. It's going to reboot and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so now we can actually skip the uh, connect part. So yes, yeah, it's, it's so funny. Apparently, the engineers at Microsoft did not consider the rare situation where uh, the computer or the uh, Windows may be missing a driver for a network adapter, and you could be stuck in this dead end. So now we can at least click "I don't have internet." And I just love the part where it's going to say "Connect now" to get. To get started, well, that's kind of hard when you don't have a network adapter. Yeah, guys, that's absolutely crazy how the engineers at Microsoft managed to miss that. Without a network adapter, you're pretty much stuck at a dead end. So, anyways, that is what happens when you don't have a network adapter and you try to set Windows 11 home and also the workaround. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you'll get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cute Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.